Hi there, students. Invariably, invariably, an adverb. I guess you could have the adjective invariable, but we use this invariably to say that something nearly always happens. So whenever he comes home on a Friday night, they invariably have an argument. Let's see, Theore te technically, invariably means this never varies, and therefore always. However, I wouldn't use the, this, this to say always. I would say nearly always, usually, normally. Um, this is a good linking adverb. Um, invariably, um, the students do better the second time they take the exam. It's almost always true. Um, he's invariably late. He's nearly always late. Yeah, this is a as he is. This is the, uh, the, the way he is. This is not something that changes a lot. Yeah, so invariably, always on every occasion, but I would say normally, nearly always on every occasion. Um, okay, so invariably, this is nearly always true. It nearly always happens. Um, when people uh, come to my house, they invariably take the wrong turn at the crossroads. Um, if, you if you come here in July, invariably the weather is hot and sunny. It doesn't mean it won't rain for a day, but it invariably. Um, my mum invariably has lots and lots of different things uh, to eat in, in, in her fridge. So regularly, constantly, this is something that always happens. It's something that is invariable. Um, again, yeah, I know it, it says without exception, but we don't use it to mean without exception. Um, yeah, it, it, it's possible that it's not. Um, so, huh, yes, in the UK at least, school food is invariably not very good. I don't understand why. Um, because clearly the food that goes in is very good. But in the UK, invariably, the food in the school cafeteria is really rather awful. Um, I catch this bus to work every day and invariably it arrives five or ten minutes late. Yeah. Um, when, when we get... When we go to this restaurant, he invariably chooses the uh, chooses a pasta dish. He always happens. Um, they have an argument, and they then talk about it, and inv invariably they then make up and uh, go out to dinner. Um, this is a problem that is invariably overlooked. Um, when somebody uh, start, starts a, a career in writing, they invariably have uh, imagined that they're going to write a bestseller. Um, okay, so this is something that invariably happens. Um, people who um, choose uh, big cars invariably uh, choose this type of car. So, in, if something's invariable, it's not subject to change, it's constant, yeah? It, it's something that usually happens, it happens repeatedly, consistently, um, habitually. I like habitually, because something that's habitual is not always, but it's close to always. He, people invariably get this wrong. That's something that happens invariably. He invariably brings me a bottle of whiskey when he comes to see me. Um, we invariably uh, quarrel when we talk about this subject. Okay, so formality, invariably. I'm going to give it a six in formality, but I think you could, you, you can, you could use it anywhere. 
and then as to or origin in variable in not and variable from latin variare to change various different yes yeah, so variable invariably invariable invariably it's what always happens it's what normally happens so i'm going to finish with the invar invariable if you like if you enjoyed the video yeah i don't always do it but 99 percent yeah I, so I invariably do it. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now, invariably.